it's just mind-boggling, really. It's, it just blows my mind. Every time I look around at the devastation, it's just unreal. I can't believe it. There's so much need to get this stuff and get these people back, their lives back in, in order. I mean, I, you know, it's, I, all I can say is just look around. It's just incredible the amount of destruction that's here. And it's just going to take boots on the ground to get it, get it fixed. First of all, it'll be the big cleanup, and I suspect in another 30 days to 45 days the cleanup will have happened. We'll be working for the next few years on helping these families rebuild not only their homes, but their lives, really. And we've been out there, we've been, we've taken, put together volunteer crews that have gone out and worked on cleanup. So I suspect we'll make a real big dent in the cleanup. It has touched my heart to a point I, I don't even know how to describe it. I try to describe it to my family the, the amount of love that is being poured out from all kinds of volunteers. And we're out here again today, we'll be out here again tomorrow with a group of volunteers again, just moving debris to the curb for the homeowners. The cool thing about it is just all the people that are willing to, to step up and lend a hand. Um, and um, it's really cool to see how the community has come together and is making an impact together you know, for a common cause. In a disaster like this, you really kind of all come together and get to know the families a little bit more and see what they're going through. So it's very heartening to be able to reach out and help them at a time like this. You know, in this area, we're just such a small group of people, and there's only so much of a difference that we can make, but every little bit helps. So I feel like I'm making a tiny, tiny bit of progress. We can always use volunteers. You know. As most Habitat affiliates, um, without our volunteers, we don't exist. That's what keeps us going. But right now, it's going to take a lot of cash to come up with the resources to rebuild the houses and more. When we start building, we will really need the good volunteer teams to come. And what we'll really be looking for are team leaders. I mean, a person that's experienced and really knows the trades and can go out and lead a team. That's going to be a very important component of, of rebuilding or helping these families. A lot of times when disasters hit, you know, there's such an influx of volunteers in the beginning and, and donations and stuff, but then something else happens and they forget about it, right? So you want to make sure that people remember this and keep helping out, you know? When you come out here and you see what these people have gone through and you see the devastation, I mean, I could not imagine if it was me. So that's kind of where I get my energy to keep going strong, <laughs> Oklahoma strong. <laughs>